I have just baked some mini pumpkin spiced cakes. They are super delicious and very moist. I have topped them with some cream cheese frosting but this cream cheese frosting is very special because it's coffee cream cheese frosting. Amazing. I have topped them up with some walnuts which of course you can skip if you are allergic to nuts. Just have a look super moist from the inside and very very delicious. Now if you are ready to get started I can show you how exactly to make it. These are all my ingredients and they are laid out here. I'm going to use two different varieties of sugar, some spices, obviously for pumpkin spice cake, melted butter, pumpkin puree and everything. Let's get started. I'm going to make some mini cakes. For that I have taken this pan and I'm, all I'm going to do is butter the sides and the bottom of the pan because I'm not going to use any liners at all. Let's remove this and let's take a bowl now. It's one bowl mixing and to that bowl I have added my melted butter. Now I'm going to add my brown sugar and white sugar and both of them are half a cup. All you want to do is just mix them up. Now sugar is not completely going to dissolve but what you want to do is well incorporate them before you mix the next ingredient. Two large eggs going in. Just make sure your eggs are at room temperature and just break them and mix it with the rest of the ingredients that's in the bowl once egg is completely mixed in i'm going to add in yogurt now here i'm using greek yogurt because i like the taste and thickness of it and to that i'm adding some pumpkin puree now this is 100 percent pumpkin puree no water or anything in that and you can also buy the canned ones which are 100 percent pumpkin puree Let's quickly mix this and I love this batter because it comes together so quickly and it's very easy to work this with this batter. Okay, now all my wets are done. I'm going to sieve in my dry and starting with some all-purpose plain flour. And now all the rising agents, baking powder, baking soda and spices. So I have a pumpkin spice here and additionally some cinnamon powder. Let's sieve it. Sieving is always, um, I mean, sieving gives you the guarantee that your batter is lump free, and I always like to sieve in my dry ingredients. Giving it a good mix now, because we have added flour now, you don't want to over mix it. This is a gorgeous batter, and I just love making pumpkin cakes and pumpkin muffins, cupcakes with using the same batter. So it's a keeper. Batter is almost ready, and it will be. Uh, in between thick and thin and that's the consistency let's remove it and now let's go back to the baking pan here I'm using a big ice cream scoop and I'm gonna scoop one and a half and that's exactly how I want now if you're making muffins maybe one big scoop will be good enough actually it depends on your baking pan and the liners the amount of batter I made today will give me eight mini cakes and now they are going to bake in the oven which I have already preheated to 350 degrees and they are going to bake for 25 minutes. Fast forward that my cakes are all ready. Now from the looks it looks like they have baked perfectly but I always like to do a toothpick test and I like to do it on a few of them just to make sure. Okay, now they need to cool down in the pan for five to seven minutes and after that you can take them out in a cooling rack to cool them completely. I hope you can see that they have come out really soft and moist. Okay, now it's time to make the cream cheese frosting. All the ingredients are here and they are all at room temperature. My butter, cream cheese and everything. Additionally, I'm going to use some coffee granules. This is just instant coffee which you can skip if you don't like it. First, I'm going to beat my cream cheese. This is just a light beating, maybe 20 seconds or something, just so that they are not lumpy. Okay, now cream cheese is done. I'm going to move this one and in a separate big bowl, I'm going to take the rest of the ingredients. So this is my butter, which should be unsalted and at room temperature. Now using the same beater, I'm going to fluff the butter. So maybe a minute or two just until they are light and fluffy and a little bit of pale in color. Okay, beating butter is done. It's time to add in powdered sugar. And what I like to do is first give it a mix. 
because when you add powdered sugar to butter and you start your beater, it just goes everywhere. So I like to do this additional step. Cream cheese frosting is one of the tastiest frosting and if you make your cream cheese frosting like this, it's definitely going to be a hit. Okay, now the additional step which is mixing a teaspoon of just instant coffee powder with a little bit of water and then I'm going to add it to my frosting. And now I'm going to beat it just for 30 seconds or so. Now, if you don't like the taste of coffee or you don't want to use it in your frosting, you can absolutely skip that. Now it's time to add in cream cheese and after adding in, you don't even need a beater. You can just hand mix it and a delicious coffee cream cheese is all ready. Okay, now I'm going to apply it on my cakes. This cake, you can also do it in a big 9x9 nine nine pan and you can do it as muffin forms as well okay my mini cakes are all ready and they make a gorgeous gift during holiday season i have used some uh, walnuts on top but if you're allergic to nut or don't want to use it just skip that thank you for watching my video for making delicious moist pumpkin cake